Hello and welcome back to our science sky unit. This is lesson one and we're going to learn about sky patterns. Our essential question for this unit is what do you see in the sky? Grab your science notebook. I'm going to ask you to put your name on the front cover right there on the line that's next to the word name. There's my name, Miss Summers. What do you already know about the sky? For instance, what do you see in the sky when you look up? Blue, yep. Yeah. Let's hear some more. Clouds, especially if you live in Washington, yep. Yeah. Sun. Haven't seen it in a couple days, but it's up there. Moon. Yep. When does the moon come out? At nighttime. Stars. Planets. Yep. What do you see in the sky at night? And what do you see in the sky during the day? Do you see different things? Why don't you think for a second about that? Go ahead, shout out something you see in the sky at nighttime. Anything else? Okay. Now, why don't you tell me what do you see in the sky during the day? What are some things you see up there in the daytime? Well, wow, good job, you guys. That was great. Phenomenon. It is light during the day and dark at night. What questions do you have about this phenomenon? I want you to think like a scientist. Scientists have inquiring minds. They wonder about everything. What's one thing you wonder? one question you have about the phenomenon it's light during the day and dark at night what do you wonder here's another picture it is light during the day and dark at night what questions do you have about this phenomenon we're going to use page one in our workbook and we're going to write about that. This is what our workbook page looks like. So open up that workbook to page one. And you'll see this phenomenon again. But down there it says, I wonder, there's a little sentence starting. I wonder blank. What do you wonder? Now we can pause here, but use best guess spelling. You can look at the sky at different times. Each time it may look different. Sometimes there are clouds in the sky. Sometimes the sky is clear. Sometimes the sky is dark. And sometimes it is light. In this investigation, we will focus on space objects, the sun, the moon, and the stars. But remember, never look at the sun. Light from the sun can hurt your eyes. Let's label the space objects in the picture. Earth. Earth is where we live. Do you see where Earth is? Can you point to it? Let's put Earth where it goes. So this is Earth. That white stuff is the clouds that we see up in the sky. From space, it looks like it's covering parts of our Earth, right? Next. Moon. The moon is a space object that is closest to the Earth. 
Let's click on the word moon and figure out which one of those is the moon. Do you have a guess? Okay. If you said this was the moon, then you're right. That's this big round ball right by us. Sun. The sun is the brightest object in the sky. The sun is a star. Label the sun. Stars. Many other stars can be seen in the sky. They look much smaller than the sun because they are so far away. Let's label the stars there. Alrighty. So looking at our picture one more time, from the left side, the biggest, biggest circle there is Earth. The next one is the moon, and that bright circle is the sun. These little lights are stars. So for homework, I want you to go outside and look. Do you see any stars? I want you to look at your recess time. Do you see any stars out there? Will you ever? Then tonight, I want you to go outside when it gets a little dark and see, do you see the sun out there? Will you ever see the sun out there at nighttime when it's dark? I want you to come up with some answers for those questions. We can talk about that tomorrow, okay? All right, be scientists, never stop thinking, never stop wondering. And we'll see you back here tomorrow.